ball game as Oakland won it 37-31. Rival has just gone seven yards after Denver blocks the kick and the Broncos lead 7-0. That's Rob Lytle again. There's a beautiful block by number 32, John Keyworth, right there, sealing it off the inside. It looked like number 52 sealing off Jack Lambert, and they just blew him open right down the center. That's 41 Lytle. Boy, you think he's not happy? He was more nervous before playing in the Sugar Bowl against Pittsburgh a year ago. Jim Smith at the 32-yard line. Smith gives Pittsburgh some good field position out near the 44-yard line. Best field position they've had all day. He knows it is downfield, long run, refuse, first down. They're going to refuse that and let Jack... Lots of time. Now running out of it. Now throws. Has a man wide open. Cunningham. He doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> he falls down. He was so by himself. He simply dropped the ball. But after he caught it, it's a... Second down. They try to get Harris outside. He's got blockers behind Cole. That is knocked out of bounds. Along with one of the yards. Weinstein. Liar goes to the right, so does Michael Harris, and I don't think he got it. Davis is under all of that. Bonnie Davis, number 79. Harris trying to get outside. First down and more. Inside the 20, inside the 15 goes Michael Harris. Stretching with both wide receivers to the left. They send Flyer to the right as the flag goes down. Flyer ducks inside the 10 and gets down to the 8 for a gain of 5. But the flag is down back on this side of the field at the 13-yard line. Matter of fact, they delivered an orange crust kiss kits to our hotel room, which was a drink and a T-shirt saying orange crush and bumpers. Bradshaw back to throw on first and five. Looks fires and he's got his man at the one-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. Lynn Swan at the one-yard line, tackled by Bill Thompson. First and goal to go for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They hand the ball to Franco Harris. And the Steelers are saying touchdown, but the officials are not. I don't think they're going to give it to him either. Franco went right into a whole mob of them. That's it, Bradshaw scores. For Terry, he has counted in for his fourth touchdown of the year. And that was a drive that began way back on the 44-yard line. For seven, and Pittsburgh seven. Third down and ten. And a seven-seven ball game. Flyer in motion. And Franco has not going anywhere. He's lost the football. Lost it again. Jackson picks it up. And it's brought down from behind. By Larry Brown. And now, it's Harris on a little cross play. And that's Alzado. Breaking back inside, actually knocks the ball loose. Bradisher gets a hold of it. He pops it loose, and it's Tom Jackson who picks it up on the first bounce, launches himself downfield, almost gets into the end zone. Great play by Larry Brown to pull him down from behind. Well, they fumbled the ball away twice in their first meeting, and now they've... That is over. that they had to avoid the turnover as the playoff in a 19-year history out in front of the Steelers who are their sixth consecutive playoff. Otis Armstrong, after missing four weeks, did not look like he was a bit lusty here. Beautiful play inside. Bean Joe Green is stunning with number 63 home, and they just did not get the hole closed on the inside. Otis Armstrong doing a great job of picking the hole, breaking free, waltzing into the end zone. Got to be a half. Let's see it again. There's Green stunning inside. Ernie Holmes, number 63, trying to cover on the back side. Just unable to do so. And they got they got Jack Lambert, which you have to do if you're going to run inside. There goes number 24, Otis Armstrong. Smith again, the front three. And Bradshaw to throw and has a stalwart. And stalwart takes a wicked hit. Ooh. 41 yard line. I mean, a wicked hit. Bradshaw really put a blast on it. And a little bit less than two yards to go. Michael Harris has the first down and more. Getting out to midfield. Where's first down? Brock continues to run. 3.05 left. Goodman. Bradshaw. Has time.
Mark delivers it from Stallworth, who's got the football inside the 30-yard line. The marker right at the 30. First down as we come close to the two-minute mark, two minutes, 29 seconds to go. And again, Gradishar, first down and 10 to go from the 30-yard line. Bradshaw throwing on first down, loops it to Franco Harris, cuts back, and Harris picks up big yardage inside the 25, down near the 22-yard line, where it will be second down and short. Franco Harris gets up the middle, comes back against the grain, that's what he loves to do, breaks the tackle inside the 10, Harris went out of bounds at the four-yard line, and that will be another first down. Franco Harris... How many times have you seen and heard people talk about the way he cuts back against the grade and breaks tackles? Bradshaw took it himself for the first one. There goes Blyer. Here goes Franco Harris. Touchdown! Harris takes it in. This is a drive of 65 yards, starting on the 35-yard line. Trying to get that little jumper in there, and they did get good penetration, but obviously not a block. 14 to 14, and... The arms crush and Denver has gone mad. And I have 14 apiece. And this is Frank Martin is going to fall down. And they'll just touch him right there as two seconds, one second. Wow, what a first half it has been. Special teams, defense and Denver scored. The offense and the Steelers have scored. It's 14-14. That's the end of the half. Here at Denver, Colorado. On a merry Christmas Eve. Seven for Denver. 75 for the Steelers. The total yardage. Very one-sided, 183 to 44. As we said earlier, the Broncos were able to do one thing. That was to convert on two opportunities they had when turnovers gave them the ball. They were able to make short drives into the end zone. They tied this ball game 14 at all at the half, but certainly in moving the ball, Pittsburgh Steelers have done a very much a lot stronger job, Jim, and you'd have to say that if they can continue that pace, uh, they could do it in the second half. But coming gets it away just gets it away the kicker goes down Thompson has the ball and he goes down Ernie Pugh the first to hit it ball at the 47 yard line and Morton company come out from the 47 yard line Morton goes back to throw has time and now runs out and goes down and is sacked Morton has been sacked quite a few times, 43 times before today's ball game. Play action pass. Morton delivers. Hey, the goal! It's down 35-yard line. Donnie Shaw makes the stop. Lytle and Jensen now become the running backs. And Morton's back to throw again. Has time again. Jensen, look out! There he goes!
It's 21 to 14 on a 30-yard pass to Riley Odom. Now, in the first half, the Steelers really shut down the Broncos' offense. In the Bradshaw has time again. It is intercepted by Jackson. Jackson inside the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. He's in for the 8. Mike Webster knocks him down. First and goal to go, Denver. This interception of the year for Jackson. He returned one all the way against Baltimore. And now the orange crush gives his offense a big lift. He has good protection. And there's a great leaping stab. Hit it with one hand, picked it up as it fell. And boy, can he run with that football. He looks like a halfback out there. Lytle and Keyworth to go left. Odom set up on the right side. And Morton back to throw, looking left, looking left. Runs out of places to look. Now has lost the time. Hand comes up. He loops it in the end zone. Oh! Yeah! Avon Morgan! The official is saying it went off the hands of one receiver into the hands of Haven Moser. So well, that's no good. Hit by Jack Dolman, so they won't allow it. That's what he's saying. Let's watch it again. You'll be able to see it. It's Jack Dolman, number 82, who tips the ball. Eventually, Haven Moses is the one that caught it. Morton doing a fine job of moving around, looking for someone to get it off to. Finally, decides he better get rid of it before L.C. Greenwood eats his lunch there. There's the ball. Dolman. That's right there. That's right, Dalvin and then Moses. What a great job of pulling that ball in by Moses. All right, now we come in. A lot of time left. It is a field goal attempt, and it's a good field goal attempt from 24 yards. The toe of Cutter gives the Broncos a six-point lead. It is 27 to 21, but there's an awful lot of time yet left to play. Gets the ball to Cunningham. Cunningham trying to get the first down and does, I believe, at the 30-yard line. Let's see where they mark it. That's the same play they got a big first down with earlier in the third quarter, earlier in the fourth quarter. And it looks like they're going to have to bring in the tape to major it. Nope, they're, they're just calling it a first down. Bradshaw gets it across the middle. And out near the 40-yard line and near a first down is number 28, Alvin Maxson. From five and a half to go. Big play. Bradshaw has to go for it. Throws, has his man, flies, the flag goes down. Flyer has the first down at the 41-yard line and a flag was thrown from far downfield. Bob Jackson made the stop. Looks like it was thrown on Jackson for interference, but of course the uh, pass was completed, so it'll be ignored. And Bradshaw back to throw. Bradshaw lets it go. Intercepted by Jackson again. And he's back down inside the 35. Tom Jackson's second interception of the quarter. There it is. The elation of victory. And you saw it just earlier when the camera was on Bradshaw. The tragedy of of throwing that pass. And Morton back to put it up. Going long in the end zone, now and there. Touchdown, Jack Dolan! That's it!
54 seconds left, fourth down. Last gasp for the Steelers. Get it away to Randy Grossman. He's got to get the first down, and Grossman gets out of bounds, but I don't know if he got to the first down mark. I don't think he did. If, if he did not, he simply turns the ball over there to Denver. Outstanding plays by the Denver defense, by Craig Morton. But more than anything, it was Pittsburgh's error. The turnover, the fumble, the two interceptions by Jackson that really spelled the doom of the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's the story, 34-21. A couple of field goals to make it 27-21, and then when they thought they were running out the clock, a bomb to Jack Dalvin. And it is all over. The arm crust has done it. And our congratulations, of course, also to the Pittsburgh Steelers as Terry Bradshaw disappeared from sight. It's been a long season for them. They were given extra life. Joe Green said they thought they could play better, but Denver played better today than did Pittsburgh.